And that's why I didn't take the chance of going to Melbourne for the invasion. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dom here with another mod video. What you saw in that clip is pretty funny when it's in a video game like GTA, right? But in real life, it's not. And it is the reason why I avoided going to the BMW invasion up in Melbourne, Florida. I was going to put myself or my wife at risk if something had happened. Now, the reason is, at the time of the event, my car did not have seatbelts. And that's because I've seen this trend where a lot of people are modifying their car's interior now. They're doing seat swaps, they're doing steering wheels, and they're doing uh, upgrades to their seatbelts in various colors. And I wanted to do the same. So I looked and I could not find any video anywhere, not a tutorial, not on YouTube, not in any forum, how to remove the seatbelt from my 2009 BMW 335i convertible. There are plenty out there that show how to do it on the sedan and on the coupe because the harness is attached to the B pillar. In my car, it's not. It's on the headrest. It goes along the back side of the seat. So it's a little more complicated to take out. Because I couldn't find one, I had to do my own, and I got a feeling this might be the first. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to show you how I took them out of my car, step by step, and what you need to know. Before we do that, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified for any other future things that I may post. Now let's get into this mod. Okay, let me just add that I did disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. I always do that when I'm working on the car, and I think it's a good idea for you to do that as well. It's good common practice. I also raised the seat as far up and forward as I could. That way it makes it easier to get to the little screws and bolts down at the bottom of the seat. If you move the seat belt, you'll see it's different than the E90 and E92. And I would imagine the E91 as well, where it's on the B pillar there. Vine is attached to the headrest, to the seat, all the way down here. So the first thing that we're going to take off is this cover here, this is what I learned by doing the other side, the good step-by-step. -step. This cover here, then we're removing this here. We can get to the bolt that's back there, which is a 19. And we pull the seat forward. We have to get to the rear. As you can see, I've already taken off the panel from that side, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. We need to take off the panel so we can get in behind there, and that is where the actual harness itself the reel is bolted onto so i'm going to go through this step by step and show you how it's done to remove this first panel right here where i have my seat adjustment controls you can do this with your hand i found it to be very easy just lifting up just like that lift up again as you go across and lift up continuing and that's it it just snaps right off You'll see the tab right there, a little tab slot right there, another slot there. It'll come right off. And before we pull it all the way out, you can look inside. We've got, you've got a connector there. You've got a connector way up here. Disconnect those. And it was a little difficult holding the camera and trying to remove everything. So I had to put it down and remove it. Pull this out. I've already got it loose and I can turn it. I'm not going to disconnect that last connection there. I can just swing it around, but I'll show you what I did to remove this one here. Yeah, just squeeze these and it'll come right off of the connector right there. And this one here, all I did was push my pick tool in through that little hole right there, which presses down on the little tab and then it comes right out. I'm going to leave that one connected. It's not in my way. I don't need to remove it. I'm just going to turn the cover that way it's out of my way now I can get to the bolt that's in there to get to that bolt it would be very simple to use a ratchet and a t30 torx all right so now that we have that torx t30 out of there and now we'll have to take out a screw way back here at the bottom I'll show you in an example in the other side this is where it is that's the hole where the torx t30 went through right here at the front side and then on the back side there's a little screw back there with another torx bit i'll let you know what size that is that i need to remove once i remove this cover from this side then i can get to the bolt that's holding down the harness at this end it is a t20 torx screw that's in there you take that out and this cover will be loose and we can pull it out. 
All right, we got the piece out. You'll see it has the hole there where it goes through that, the one on the back where the screw goes through, and then this loop right there goes over that Torx bolt there. That is what holds the seat back in place. We're not removing that. We're getting to that bolt down there, which should be a 19. Again, not a whole lot of clearance. Might want to use a wrench, which probably will be easier. And then we'll remove the strap right from there. And I just put the bolt back in just so I know exactly where it goes. Now we'll move on to the back side to take off the backing. So I'll push the seat forward and we'll get going with that. There are two Torx bits, T20s, way under there. This is the panel I took off from the back. And you'll see way at the bottom here, we've got two holes. That's where your T20s go in through. All right, so here we have it off. Once I remove the two screws at the bottom, I pulled out. Then you just push down to get that clip right there, free from this spot that goes across right here. And right there is my reel. I've got to remove two plastic sides from there, which is going to be the toughest part of it. And then this here, it's just that one bolt there, which is a 16. And then this cable, I'm going to leave it attached. It's going to run underneath here and it will be connected down there. And I'll show you how that is disconnected. The hardest part of this DIY is the removal of this plastic trim piece right here where the seat belt goes through by the headrest. All right, I'm showing you this from inside the house where I've already removed the one side, the passenger side, and we're still working on the driver's side. But I wanted to show you this in here. It's a lot cooler. It's brutal hot out there and probably much clearer to see. So the two plastic pieces that I said that gave me the hardest trouble removing are these two plastic pieces, one on each side right there. And once we remove that, the reason for that is so we can get to the screw that's in there and the one that's on that side, they're off center, right? And that allows us to slide this pass through right over and I'm gonna ship it out as a whole piece, all those pieces connected. This is what I found to give me the hardest trouble. That little tab that's there on that side, and you can see on this one, I've got both of them intact. You have, you just have to lift those up to remove it, right? Seems simple enough. And then along the edge, you have these little tabs here as well. But it gave me the hardest amount of time. In here, if you look, if I can angle the camera with the white background, you might be able to see. It's got little raised parts in there. That's where those loops go into. And on the bottom end as well, you've got these little raised portions right here. And that's where it goes. And all you got to do is just get the pick under there, pry it out, and pull it, right? Well, those loosen very easily. It's the ones that are underneath that grab on with the little tabs. That's what gave me the hardest time to separate. Well, let me go outside and do that. Okay, well, I got the cover off. This side was much easier knowing where the tabs are and where you have to place your screwdriver and pick tools or whatever you're using to remove it. And as you can see, I've got the bolt exposed, which is a T30, and I'm gonna remove that. Okay, so with the two T30s taken out, you can just take this piece right here and slide it right up and it comes right out. Okay, this is the 16 millimeter right here. I already loosened it. This nut, it's not a bolt as I said earlier, my mistake, it's just a nut. You remove that and the harness comes out. But before I remove that, I wanna to get to the bottom of this cable. I wanna follow this cable to the bottom and I'll show you where it connects. I'm just gonna remove some of the seat, the cover, the backing. I'm just gonna lift it up. I'm not sure if you can get in there and see, I apologize. Right here, the leather connect to the back of the seat. And just by pulling up on these right here, this is, just pull that straight up. All right, I'll try to hold the camera as steady as possible. I just lift it up on the seat straps there to remove it. And I'm gonna get in all the way, here's the cable. Not sure if you can see right there is where it connect. Lift that up there and get rid of that one there as well so you can see a little better right there. I'm gonna get a pick tool under there and just disconnect it. It'll come right out. 
All right, so got my pick tool inside of there. Just got to get it inside those little holes. You'll feel for it, and then it comes right out. The harness is loose and ready to be removed. All right, now that that harness is removed, now I have to remove this plastic piece right here, which I should have done in the beginning, but I didn't. And that will allow the seatbelt to come clear from the seat back. And in order to do so, I'm going to get a T20 Torx bit right in there, remove that. And with that plastic piece removed, I can just lift up the entire strap assembly and ship them out to have a color change. So there we have the new seat belts installed in a royal blue. I think it complements the interior of the vehicle very nicely. It's not a difficult job, just a little more complicated as opposed to doing it on a sedan or on the coupe. I think they look really, really nice. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified of the next video that I post, and we'll see you next time. Take care.